This is a highly abnormal ECG with findings consistent with the presence of extensive myocardial damage, probably chronic, in a patient presenting with clear clinical evidence of heart failure. The QRS complexes are wide and are overall negative in lead V1. This is complete left bundle branch block. In the presence of complete bundle branch block, we can still estimate the position of the cardiac axis in the initial deflections of the QRS complexes in the frontal leads. On this ECG, the cardiac axis is deviated to the left. In cases of complete left bundle branch block, the presence of left axis deviation is said to indicate more severe underlying cardiac pathology. First degree heart block is evident, which may indicate damage to the AV node. The deep negative P waves in lead V1 are indicative of the presence of left atrial hypertrophy or abnormality. And consistent with this, there is true P mitrale evident in the inferior leads. You can learn how to recognize and categorize conduction abnormalities on the ECG and how to identify ECG findings indicative of structural abnormalities of the heart at acadoodle.com. If you need credits, we are ACCME accredited and our pro subscription offers AMA PRA category one credits. Sign up today.